Hey guys, Banzai. Today I'm gonna show you two pieces of equipment, a stretching bar and a wall pad. So stay tuned. Hey guys, Bonsai here. So the piece of equipment I'm actually using is a leg stretching bar. Now as you can see, my legs go right behind these pedals here. There's a handle in the middle. And all you do is pull this towards you. And as you do that, pushes your legs outward. Now what this piece of equipment does is it allows you to stretch out your legs at your own comfort levels. Here's a message from us here at Bonsai Yang Martial Arts. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate all my followers. I appreciate the love and the support, the likes, the comments. You guys are so awesome and I can't thank you enough to get me to where I am so far. It's been quite a journey, but gonna continue this journey and we will be trying to go for our next goal 5,000 subs after that we'll be going for 10,000 subs come on let's just keep this channel growing let's keep sharing these videos let's keep interacting with my channel keep interacting with me I love talking to people I love to interact with the viewers so if you ever had any questions or you want to give me some advice I appreciate any either or I appreciate either or the negative, the positive, if I'm doing something wrong, please let me know so I can fix it. And just thank you so much, guys. And thank you for watching. Until next time, Bonsai out. If you're just a beginner, this is how it starts. You can pull it towards you and with it like this, my legs aren't as stretched out, but when I pull it, it stretches them out even further. Now, if you use this piece of equipment every week, you're gonna find that your legs are actually being able to stretch further and further out. And you can find this piece of equipment right on Amazon for just $25. Some of martial arts training isn't just about the punches and kicks. It's about stretching. Stretching is very important. If you wanna have better kicks, and good punches, then you need to have great flexibility and great posture. And when, like when you're stretching, you need to actually be sitting up straight, as straight as you possibly can. As you can see, I am stretched out pretty good. I mean, it's been a while since I've stretched with this piece of equipment. It's probably been at least like a year since I've used this. Cause a lot of times I just sit down on the floor and do my sit and reach. I just reach for my toes. I think I'm gonna start regularly using this again because I can feel it working a lot better. And the cool thing too is when you're done with it, you can just fold it up and put it away. Yeah, so this is my other piece of equipment. This is my wall pad. As you can see, it's been used. It's got a lot of work put into it. Now this thing's neat because you can use this on the wall there's hooks here, you can hang it up on the wall. Or you can put it on the floor just like how I have it. And if you don't want your knees to hurt, you can just put your knees on the pad itself. So that way, when you're conditioning your hands, you have some padding for your knees. Now I'm gonna show you a couple different types of exercises you can do with this thing. Okay, so one of the different exercises you can do with this while it's on a floor, you can lightly condition your knuckles. You can do it that way. You can turn them vertical, do vertical fist. Or you can do finger conditioning. Now 
And doing that with your fingers, that just strengthens them, makes them stronger. I'll show you from a different angle now. So, knuckle. knuckles, fingers, and this pad goes for about $20 on Amazon. You can see the, the dirt, sweat, and blood. The thing's been beat pretty bad. It's just another, uh, exercise or another form of training you can do if you don't want to practice punching or kicks you can take a break from that and pull out that wall pad and then you can do some conditioning work thank you for watching bonsai out